Hey, so today I will show you how to launch your Windows instance in AWS and connect it using RDP. So this is my AWS console. I hope you all aware of this AWS console. So I can go to EC2 and I have to launch an instance. So I click launch instance. Now there is a uh, some windows instance this is the windows server 2016 base instance and if you are concerned about costing so you can select a free tile checkbox and uh, you can choose a difference and i am choosing this so i am choosing t2 micro instance type and i can go to next config instance detail so no need to touch this leave it default next add to storage and it is showing 30 gb storage no need to touch it again i recommend now next and next i need to configure security group so either you can choose an existing security group or you can choose a new create a new security group so so by default in order to access windows instance you need to open port 3389 so port 3389 is a rdp port which is required for, for accessing remote desktop. Apart from that, I am adding HTTP and HTTPS port in order to access internet on my instance. So here I can also add this port. So these are the three rules I have set. Now, click review and launch. So this is this is the final configuration of my windows instance now i have to click launch now it is asking a key pair so key pair is very important need to it key pair need to access any instance so either you can choose an existing key pair or you can create a new key pair so now i, I am creating a new key pair not choosing an and keep it so I just select this and I can give my key a name Windows 1 uh, it is very important you need to download this key pair and you can launch an instance so here my instance is launching you can see I can directly go to my instance so it is launching okay name of the instance win one you can give this meaning so it is in pending state and it is in running state. Great. So in order to connect this instance, I can click connect, and it is showing saying that I have to download a remote desktop file and double click this remote desktop file. Just trying to establish connection. It will take some time. Oops, some error comes. Uh, let me fix it. So, if this kind of error comes, you need to make sure that port 3389 is open. That is RDP port. So, here I can see my security group, and yes, it is open. So there is one hack if this kind of error come then you need to change the security group so i have to go to networking change security group right. currently i am using this launch wizard 3 security group let me use launch wizard 2 security group it is also for windows instance assigned security group and let me try to connect again Yeah, now it is. So I have to get the credentials. So let me get the password from here. So now to get the password, I need to give my <coughs> key name. So I have to select this key name. I have downloaded it earlier. So this is my key name. And Let's decrypt the password. 
So here I got the password which I need to put in order to connect. Right. Yeah. <clears throat> Great. Now it is trying to establish a connection. My Windows is booting up and you can see this is the default IP address and IDP connection is successfully established. And in a few seconds you can see a complete Windows desktop running on AWS. Yeah, you can see this. I've successfully launched a AWS instance and connected using RDP. So your now your instance is ready and it can be used for any purpose whether for development work or, or for testing work or if you want Windows server to host any application in cloud. So for any purpose as per your requirement you can use this instance. Thank you. Thanks for watching this video.